go, which must be at least she I don't know. You oh, lied. No, we're all locked down. Okay, hey, <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> Victor, give me a break, man. Give me a flick, man. With Hiko Simon in the green T-shirt. Oh, YouTube shirt. How'd you get one of those? I, uh, I have connections. I have, connect I have connections. I, I embezzled it. I embezzled it. And Reina from, I think, deep in Japan. We're going to find out where she's from exactly. Yeah. Minutes. Welcome to another uh, two and a half weeks. It's been a while. Well, this is a, a real proper one. Our last one was about 10, 11 days ago. And kind of rushed, right? And, uh, yeah, here we are. So let's yeah. click on the guest. Hiko, would you like to introduce her? Give a little background on her? <laughs> I, I, I have no idea who this person is. Uh, so, so this person is Raina. From no idea. <laughs> so Raina's from Deep in Japan, and I, I probably met you, I knew, I knew your channel, uh, I've been watching Deep in Japan before, I kind of knew a bit about, I guess we'd connected on Twitter and stuff like that a couple of times before we met at the YouTube party, but yeah. um, you are doing lots and lots of really cool stuff, and it was very cool talking to you at the party, so I was like, the other day I was just like, why, why, why don't you come on two and a half voyages, and you were like, yay, and... Yeah. and <laughs> of course. So I thought like, getting uncomfortable. The thing is, you do like a little every 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 single thing that you do that I know about is kind of awesome, and I don't know I don't know where to start. Really? <laughs> let, let's start with you with your main YouTube channel that you've got. So you, you're you're involved in I, I don't exactly know what it is. So I guess maybe you could explain to us what Deep in Japan the YouTube channel is. Well, what was the story with that? Basically, um, the, in the in the in the main video we say like we go to places where like you know where people are afraid to enter. So we go really deep in Japan, like crazy bars and like places where like foreigners usually wouldn't think to go. Or really? like, and I we get. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that part of it. That that, that that's an important part. But, but like, there's there's a lot of you, right? How many how, how many people are presenters on the channel? Um, right now there is. Hold on a second. Mm. Maybe six. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I can name them, but like I can't count them. That's like okay. asking. <laughs> That's what you're asking how many people. I, I'm usually the other way around. <laughs> you can well, yeah, count. I think it's better to be able to name than count. I certainly don't have that talent. I, I can neither name nor count nor recognize faces, but that's just a that's just a weakness on my part. So like so you're but it's kind of I didn't realize that that was a thing about going to places that guys didn't usually too, be too scared to because they're kind of kind of awesome places. I mean, some of the places are kind of famous, like there's the craziest bar in Japan one. Oh, I mean... God. Yeah, that was a good video. Yeah. I like commend you. Oh, it's so oh. funny. <laughs> that guy's literally insane, I think. Yeah, yeah, he seems to be... I've seen a couple... I think uh, Abroad in Japan did a video at the same place. And yeah. Oh, really? It was really, really cool. Which also reminds me, like... like so how long have you been making videos? Because you seem to like like abroad in Japan. Actually, you kind of popped up what about a year ago? Yeah. Have you, have you made, um, been actually, making more than that? I used to have my own channel, but I privated all the videos because I was like, eh, I'm not. I wasn't. I don't know why. I don't know why you did that. I've I've, I just, uh, I've been blessed enough to see a couple of videos. I want to be on the like internet. That. You should yeah. have that channel open. I should maybe I should just private all of my videos. That'd be kind of cool. I, I used to make dance. We're losing her. Are you getting her? I can't hear her. I, it feels like the final scene of Titanic on the on, on the floating on the floating <laughs> door. <laughs> you know, I'm like I gotta I, I keep losing. Is there a way to um, increase her broadband on her channel, maybe? Somewhere? So the, pro the problem, I think, comes to the second point about Reina. I don't know if you're keeping up with this here. You're cutting in and out for us, but which I guess is partly because you're, you're in Tochigi, right? Yeah, I'm in yeah. the country. You, you, you are like way, way. You are still in Kanto. You are in Shutoken. It it's Kanto. part of Shutoken, right? It is Kanto. Yes. But you are like as far out of Kanto as you can be and still be in Kanto, right? <laughs> well, I could be further up north in Tochigi, like, you know, Nikoltoka. Yeah. So, like, can, can, can you speak, like, Tochigi, Ben? Because that is, like, the craziest accent, I think, in oh, Japan. Oh, my God. I forget. I know. Wakaru, Ben? Dabe, dabe. There's actually, I, I actually knew a New Zealand guy um, in New Zealand who was actually deported from Japan for dealing drugs while living in Tochigi. He came over with his wife and they got met, well, his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, who was probably doing the same thing. They got married in New Zealand. But uh, he 
just was traveling. He just decided to stop in Tochigi and be a construction worker and a bartender. And he learned fluent Japanese by yeah. being a bartender in a small town in Tochigi, which resulted in him being one of the most fluent Japanese speakers I've ever met, but only in Tochigi Bim, which was just hilarious. Uh, How long did it take him to become fluent? <laughs> it was like a year or something, but it was like, um, of all the accents, honestly, it is, it, it's like a, a Japanese person only learning English with a Welsh accent. I don't know if you know what that sounds like. It's kind of cool, but it's kind of like, yeah, you feel a bit bad. But So so so, what are you doing in Tochigi? Um, John. <laughs> um, word, I word. That's old. Um, and my dog. <laughs> yeah. By yeah. the way, Chico, they're getting comments about the dog here. So that, that is a not that is not just a normal Shiba, right? Well, well, well it's a very well, it's a mummy Shiba. A mummy Shiba. I've never heard of that before. Is that like a small He's, Shiba? Uh, yeah, but apparently it's not like a recognized breed. Like it's not recognized by like the the associate like whatever the dog association is. I don't know. Yeah. But like it's okay. So rather than but like we didn't buy we didn't buy her. We found her. She was a lost dog. So oh, really? She's, oh, you know, I guess you don't know then. She's about two or three. Mm. Her oh, name's Mame. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about um. Let's let's get to some of the basic history because I think people would like to know maybe about the earthquake and we, you were you were around when that happened, right? Really? Oh no, um, I was in in Philly. <laughs> oh really? You came after the earthquake? Oh. Um, I came the first time in 2007. I've been mm -hmm. on and off since 2007. So, um, yeah, I didn't come in 2011 at all. Sorry, Victor, we're getting complaints. I just want to report that everyone is saying that the camera is fixed on me and people are very upset. <laughs> <laughs> I don't worry, Mr. Cody Chip. I do not take it personally. <laughs> there you go. There we go. I flipped it over. There it is. All right. <laughs> Okay. So you came in. You, so you've been a couple of times back and forth. Yeah, I mean the first, like the I studied here in 2008 because I really mm -hmm. wanted to learn Japanese. It wasn't university though; it was like language school. Mm -hmm. And I came on a tourist visa for three months, and I went to school for three months, and then left. <laughs> and that was my mm -hmm. first time living alone, or like, like living without my parents. Mm -hmm. I was about how old? 2008. I'm 25 now. So wow. Like twelve. My math is no, weak. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm good at math. Yeah, me too. Someone says you look very pretty tonight. Thank yeah, you. no. Your name is Claudia. Thank you. Who? So I think I think the the, the, the comment from Claudio D is some for some reason directed towards me, but that yeah, I I'll, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, weren't here, you weren't here during the earthquake, but your parents must have freaked out when you decided to come back, right? Oh no! I mean, because they know they knew I wanted to come back for a while. So, I mean, they, they're my parents are like, you know, we can't stop. <laughs> they gave up on you a long time ago. They wrote you off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's awful. <laughs> um, do you have like a lot yeah. of things open on your computer? You're using your computer, right? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I have some YouTube videos open. Uh, maybe maybe should I problem. close them? Maybe yeah. close everything to try to because we keep losing your voice a little bit though. Hmm. Okay, should I close all the windows? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Use your history to okay. open them up, up again, but you should you should shut them all down because your PC is suffer suffering some serious Wait. RAM lag. Because if I if I close Gmail, I'm fucked. Oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, we we encourage. <laughs> so I should close Gmail. Yeah. That's how I. Okay. If you're using Chrome, I I, I I would turn off your PC. I wouldn't I wouldn't actually turn off the PC, but I would shut down every unnecessary window. I am using Chrome. <laughs> yeah. See, Chrome Chrome used to be like a really fast and light and speedy browser, and now it's just like this huge Shit. ad destroyer just crashes stuff. That's so a Star Wars reference. Safari? Sorry, no, I'm I'm using Chrome myself, but I just use minimum Windows. Okay, I got you on Firefox. <laughs> okay. Okay, so so you you came over and uh, how how does the when you didn't have a visa but you went to language school and there was no problem with that. There's nothing. There was no. You just had to uh, leave again. 
Yeah, and like for some reason, like I didn't buy a return ticket either. Like I bought a one-way ticket. Mm-hmm. I was young and stupid, and I didn't know what I was doing. But I bought a one-way ticket. But then, like, okay, I bought a one-way ticket. And I bought a ticket when I, right before I had to leave in 2008. Yeah. But like right mm-hmm. before I came with my husband, I tried to do the same mm-hmm. thing. But like, Jay Jal wouldn't let like the air the people at like the New York airport wouldn't let me on the plane until I bought a return ticket. I was like, what? the Yeah, f- usually they don't let you in with a one-way ticket if you're not on a permanent visa. So that's in kind of kind of funny. You did it the first time. Oh, well, that's yeah. interesting. Like we for you, they didn't. I came on a one way as well. Really? Yeah. Just Maybe to think. they changed it recently. Yeah. What did I do? You know what? I think. How I old, think how of it. Yeah. I mean, I think like. Uh, well, my, um, <laughs> for you, for Victor, it was like uh, 1972. 1992. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 1992. <laughs> 1935. No, I was, I was 1990. We're not that far apart. We're both 90s guys. But, uh, oh. yeah, when I came, I think my first work visa was like one year. So I think, you know, it was like a condition. It was also a condition of my working holiday visa that you have a return ticket. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Raina, someone's asking where, where you got your surgery. Surgery? <laughs> On your eyes. I, Okay. Okay, I, I lived in Korea, but I've never gotten plastic surgery. Everybody asks me that. I don't know why. This is my natural face. <laughs> I promise. Surgery. <laughs> but you are kawaii as fuck, yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the Annie san That's a Annie san's funny. Yeah. Wait, are oh, you like, probably met Annie san He was at the party. He was at the party. He was. At the, he he recently shipped back to America. He, he left the yeah, navy. So he's a free man now. Um, Maybe. I think I remember those. Yeah. So, so wait a minute. So this is like one of the other things that I think it's cool. So you've lived in Korea. I didn't know you lived in Korea. Mm-hmm. Lived in Korea, and you've lived in Thailand. Mm-hmm. Where else you lived? You yeah. Tochigi. Philly. Philadelphia. Uh, New York. <laughs> Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Orlando. Mm-hmm. Orlando. What were you doing in Orlando? Were you like a Mickey Mouse or something? No, no, no. I went to high school there. Oh, wow. You're from Florida. Well, I'm from Philly, <laughs> if you can't tell by my accent. But <laughs> Not really, actually. You, you can't tell? Okay. Uh, put it on heavy. Uh, I, can I teach? <clears throat> okay. Do you guys want to get some water? <laughs> Ready. Oh, so what? People don't it's drink water, called... really. It's water. water. Not water. 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 Woulda. Woulda. I think Hannah Minx was... Oh. Or... No way. Yeah, and she had no plastic surgery as well, despite the rumors. <laughs> okay, when I went to Korea, like, mm-hmm. all my Korean... When I came back, all my Korean friends were like, oh, I see, did you get surgery? Like, because it's normal there, I guess? And right. I'm like, yeah. no. <laughs> do I look different? <laughs> so I heard no. it's kind of, like, like, normal in Korea, like, for a birthday present, that boyfriends buy their girlfriends, like, cosmetic surgery vouchers. Yeah, I've heard that, too. And there's no stigma about it. Like, yeah. everybody does it. I yeah. didn't. <laughs> but everybody does it. But someone wants to know what high school you went to in Orlando, because someone's from Orlando. Lake Mary High School is actually in Lake Mary. Lake Mary, okay. Lake Mary High School. I was like Facebook message me now with that specific question. She is in Orlando right now, watching. Okay. Who, 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 who Actually, messaged that? Girl, uh, I don't know if she can say her name, but... I don't say name, then, yeah. Technically, okay, I lived outside of Orlando. It was called Lake Mary High School, um, number one <laughs> in the in the state. No, in the national. Number one of what? Number one dance team degree? in the nation. Oh. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Are you a dancer? A former dancer. Oh really? What kind of dancer? Everything. Not erotic. Not. Uh... But, but you will s- no. Not a pole dancer. Not a. Or, no, actually, no pole dancer. Not pole dancing. Pole dancing is hard. You know? Ren does that. Ren, we've had Ren on our channel. Yeah, yeah, Ren's awesome. Yeah, I want to. I want to try sometime. It's in fact, fun. you know someone else who has done and, and tweeted so, numerous selfies of pole dancing. Who's a dude? Is uh, yeah. our mutual friend, uh, Mr. Mr. Edelstein. <laughs> yeah. He, he, okay. He did pictures of himself pole dancing. Yes. I, I, I'm sure obviously. He the customer in, in those shit places. No, he did. Really? Yeah, that was legit. Was, uh... Our article 
on Japan subculture about it. He made the poor intern, the male intern that came this summer, do pole dancing too. With him? But he had fun too. Does there may or may not classes? be twerking. Huh? I'm going to see if I can get Tom to do that. I'll pay for the classes. Hmm. Tom was pretty fit. I think Jake has a friend who does it, I think. So I think it was free. But there may or may not be videos of them twerking on somewhere on Facebook. So I think I've around. seen these twerking. <laughs> you didn't hear that? Thank you for telling me not to look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Claudio you know, Jake Jake did pole dancing pictures. Jake. I've seen them. Hey, let's let's get to the meat of uh, some of this here, because I don't know if people realize that Reina. Have, have we mentioned this? That Reina is a is the uh, assistant. Assist, what, what's your actual title? Go for I am slave. Pull down to study chief. understudy. Uh, I am Jake's assistant, and I'm the assistant editor for Japan called Subculture.com, as well as a contributor. I'm still kind of in training. Like, I'm a journalist, but I still need a little bit of help, but he's training me. I'm yeah. could be his personal assistant sometimes. Okay, and that's Jake Adelstein, not Adelstein, right? Adelstein, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> was actually, I remember I when, when I went to his house. Was Adelstein in the end, right? Yeah, I asked him that, and it was like, Stein. I, I have, like, I have relatives whose names end in Stein, and it's like, you know, e even with people with the same name, some of them say Stein, and some of them say, say Stein. It's very confusing. Mm. Okay, so so how do you how do you land that gig of being yeah. of working for Jake? That's pretty cool. Um, I used to work. Okay, I read his book in when I used to work at um Kinokuniya in New York City. Right. Yeah, yeah. And um, I had to. I was basically like a book buyer. I had to buy books for like the store, and they mm -hmm. had to relate to Jap to foreigners in Japan. So right. I was like, oh my god, this guy seems really cool because you know most of the foreigners that go to Japan are kind of like, not gonna say it, but actually now you, 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 you kind of got to say it now because yeah, we have to say it. It. now we have to have a big fight. <laughs> like, that's right, me. That's such a weird thing to say. Oh, but. otaku. Well, see, this is the thing, though. O otaku. Well, that's that's definitely what it's like now. There 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 have been different waves, but mm -hmm. yes. See, otaku isn't yeah. probably how you would there's, describe that generation. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like there's a there's even a word you know the word we weeaboo or yes. whatever. There's mm -hmm. a, there's a Korean word now. It's called Koreaboo. Oh, <laughs> there's people like that about Korea now. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So I met him through. I, I followed him on Instagram, and like one day he followed me back, mm -hmm. and then like we started talking, and like he sent me a message. He said like I love your blog. You're really funny or something, and then like. It's a really weird story how we met, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, my dog is really annoying. Hold on, I'm just gonna go on the floor. Um, so <laughs> he tagged me in a picture of cookies. Okay, <laughs> that is weird. Like, and it said, Lena, do you want do you want to give me something like that? I was I'm like, who is a strange <laughs> And then he sent me a message like, I'm not trying to hit on you or anything. Don't worry, I know you're married. And I was like, okay. For some reason, like, I didn't think that was weird. <laughs> and then that, now that now we joke about it, and I'm like, you asked me over to your house for cookies. Like, that's creepy. <laughs> but then, like, we became friends, and he's like, he took me to a press conference, and, like, was like, you should work for me. He, like, begged me to work for him. So. <laughs> but I was a big fan. Like, okay. Does I could, he pay well? I felt like I could, hmm? Does he pay well? <laughs> of course. Of course, you have to say that. He, he might be watching. <laughs> Always presume they're watching. You want to put him on blast? I, he will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once my training's over. So, so how long have you been working for him? And what do you? What, what sort of stories do you work on? Um, I worked for him since like for a couple months, maybe four months. Not that long. Um, oh, really? Just for yeah. months? I thought you've been on there for a while. I've known him for a while, but um, yeah, we yeah. work on like I I'm like he like really good Japan pop culture, so I mm. write about that stuff. Mm. Or I do write about politics too, but it's not that interesting to me. I just write about it. Yeah. 
I went to the protests. I talked to. I interviewed people in Japanese. Like it was crazy. Okay, I'll give you a little test. A famous female uh, had to uh, Japanese transcribe the. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You had to just transcribe one. Me? Oh yeah, I just yeah. transcribe people. Like I'd ask them questions. Like, I it's like stupid stuff. Like, nani o nani o koji shimasu ka? Like, what do you or kogi? Kogi. <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Um, it's not that interesting. <laughs> um, I write. I I I've gotten a couple like contributing pieces to L.A. Times. Oh. And cool. but not a byline yet. I'm waiting for that. Mm. So you know who kind of does something like this? Time will be there. Yeah. Who who I've had on uh, is a uh, Mariko Lockridge. I don't know if you've come across her, but she's a really cool freelancer who uh, writes actually for LA Times and does all sorts of like um, a lot of um, pop culture news and stuff like that as well. I had her on a while ago, but she was like super cool and she does that sort of thing as well. But uh, Yeah, I didn't... Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't no, no, no. interrupt. Do you no, know her? Really good to me, Do you know her, Raina? Don't know if your circles have crossed, but it sounds that kind of similar. sounds really familiar, that name. Maybe. Mm. I've not, I don't think I've met her tweeting her or something. Like, I don't know. It sounds really familiar. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> so through your connections with Jake, I guess you hobnob with um, the journalist elite of Japan. Uh, can you tell us if, if uh, anyone you've met that's interesting? A little, Maybe a little story? Mmm. Okay. <laughs> are you allowed to talk about that? Put it on the spot. Um, Jake's the most interesting person I've met, I think. Jake? Jake it's a lot is pretty of interesting, and I've never met a, heard of a journalist who tweaks, who twer what is it, twerks, tweets, and uh, and uh, rides the pipe or the pole. <laughs> I hope he's not watching. Yeah, those are two very different things. I should word that correctly. Those Dances are two very different things. The <laughs> I mean, Jake, tell, tell, tell us a secret about tell us a secret about Jake that nobody knows. That won't that won't get you in trouble. <laughs> okay, so when he had his old cell phone, mm -hmm. he stuck his phone number to the back in case he lost it, and I was like, Jake, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a with that. <laughs> phone? That's good. And he's like, what? And he laughed about that, like, for for days, because I made fun of him about it for a while, because, like, I'm, he's like, oh, yeah, like, that that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> I hope he's watching right now. <laughs> he's going to watch this eventually. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. He does a lot of, like... Okay. Another secret. He's very... Ozeppa. <laughs> I can relate. I can relate. So... I thought I was Ozeppa, but no. He's the most Ozeppa person I've ever met. I don't know the translation, but... Oh, laid back? Oh, overly laid back? What do you think? Overly laid back? Um, yeah, Unorganized? Yeah. Sketchy, well, well, sketchy is kind of, yeah, rough or, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I'm the same, I'm the same, I've had the same thing said. You, you are so organized, Higo, you get so much done, I can't believe it. I'm not organized at all. I'm really? not. Uh, in fact, I'm going to guess, Ogata. What's your, do you know your Kitsuki Ogata? Oh, God. Why do we promote this crap? Because it's important. There's one person, there's one person, the best press conference I ever went to with Jake was before I worked with him. Yeah. <laughs> It's really embarrassing. It was Funashi. <laughs> Funashi, yeah, that's a pretty. You crap. went to a Funashi press conference with Jake? Yeah. Funashi. I bet, you, I, bet, I bet you those are pretty popular. It must be pretty hard to get in there, right? Um, it was before I worked for him, but he reserved it. Like, I mean, I go to the press club all the time, but it's usually not that full. Yeah. Like, famous person. Mm -hmm. well, Funashi and would have been pretty full. But actually, it was so, like all the like older like obasans were like, Funata, Funata, Funata. like I was so cute. Jesus like, they, were, they were going nuts. And was like, that your question? I didn't ask the question, but Jake uh, asked this many questions. No. Oh. I forgot what I asked her just now. <laughs> um, I had a question. What, what did I ask her? Uh, what, what did you ask? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Simon, do you mind? He called. Did you do you know what I asked? <laughs> Search me. Uh, I, I had no idea. I think I need a drink. Yeah, I think you do. Oh. Okay. 
<laughs> so hold on. So you work for Jake part time. Uh, you're also a model, right? Full time. Yeah, yeah. Full time. Oh, that's full time. I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought that was part time. So you're also a model. Yes. And you, I've seen you sometimes on uh, on Facebook, like hop again hobnobbing with incredibly famous Japanese. Uh, you got pictures of yourself with really famous Japanese celebrities. Yes, I haven't posted them yet, though. Have I? Oh, you haven't? You showed me. I sent them to you, because the commercial comes out in a couple of weeks, but... Oh, that's cool. Cool. <laughs> She's in a commercial with some really famous uh, Japanese people. So. Wow. And I'm gonna... Abe? <laughs> Sorry. People who are liked, and you would want to... Oh, okay. Them. Well, that's even better. <laughs> okay, so... Can you say what the commercial is going to be, or is it like a big secret? It's um, it's going to be like it's going it's a pachinko commercial. I don't know how much detail I'm allowed to give, so yeah. um, I'm not um, going to say. It. Okay. You know what, what I used to live but, in. The, yeah, what I used to live, live in the Inaka myself. I think one of the first ever sight gags I ever laughed at in Japan was there was a big pachinko parlor across the road that was flashing the pachinko sign, except that um, the first letter was um, the lights weren't working. I know where this is going. And everyone thought that was like the best sign in the town. <laughs> like the P&A weren't working. A, of course, you don't have a video of it, right? People would stop. Just This is like, yeah, back in the 90s when video didn't exist. Wait, so... Wait, what 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 did it say? <laughs> so the, the, the part was not illuminated, which made it sound like an embarrassing male body part. And Wait, it was flashing. It was like the only sign in the entire town. So I can't kind of tell if she actually doesn't get it or if she's <laughs> trying to make you say it. <laughs> of course I get it. Not comfortable. <laughs> That's right. People ask me what I'm drinking. I'm drinking this new thing that my wife put in the fridge today called Wilkinson's Ginger Ale Vodka. Come by. There you go. <laughs> I'm drinking, uh, this is water and this is a uh, type of Valium. Uh, no, it's not. It's just Japanese. Hey, so, um, so Reina, how did you get into modeling? How does that work? Because mm. a lot of people think that you, you could just come over and just bang um, your model. No. I mean, there are some girls I want... Okay, this is going to sound bitchy, but, you know, there are some uh -huh. girls that are kind of like, eh. So, like, basically, sometimes they only want a white face, but mm -hmm. I've done a lot of <clears throat> runway shows, so mm -hmm. um, not any foreigner can do runway shows. Mm. Right. You, just, you I, actually have to learn how to walk properly, right? Yeah, and I'm really, I'm really tall. I have long legs, mm -hmm. so like that, that helps. Like, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's my. I wasn't sure if your legs were really long or your torso was just abnormally short. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wondering about that. I'm glad you threw that. Well, I have a really there. short torso, actually. I, I did I tell you that, or did you notice that? No, no, I was completely <laughs> joking just now. Uh, That's you true. Completely analyzed. But can I ask you something about what? Japanese women? Because you probably noticed this. Yes. Uh, it's it's my mm. it's my opinion that in general, and of course I have a subjective, a scientifically invalid opinion because I've only I don't know that many women, but I haven't I, don't, I haven't had a scientific sampling. But says Mr. Fonzi in Japan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese women seem to have, generally speaking, shorter legs and oh. long torsos. Yeah, I agree. But there's 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 white girls that are like that too. It's not just Japanese. <laughs> white girls. Okay. There's a lot of white girls like that too. Really? Mm -hmm. I, have to, I have to pay more attention. Yeah. It's like okay, I okay, my body's like different because it's rare because like I've never seen anybody with like a short as short a torso as mine. It's really awkward actually in <laughs> my body. I'm trying to imagine. What? But at least well, I, I got long legs. So you get hired on your long legs, or you hi get hired on your height, or your, on your white face, or a combination, or just it depends on the job? I think it's my walk, because I think I, I got a killer oh. walk. <laughs> Not going to lie. That's why. Well, the dancing training, I guess, would have been good for that as well, right? It gives you a lot of... Mm -hmm. The other thing, while and I was... Also... Well, go ahead. Oh, me? Yeah. Um... Another thing, like my husband's a fashion designer, so he had a little bit of connections before yeah. I came here yeah. to fashion. Yeah. So, that's cool. You know. So you signed <laughs> up with an with an agency, modeling agency here. I, 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 I mean, how does one get into modeling? If, even one who's done modeling overseas, I know people who do that, and they they want to know sometimes about how to get into it in Japan. So how, Hugo how was tired of the modeling life before he came over. So well, you know, I could only keep keep up the look for a certain. 
you well, don't have time. Right now, I'm a freelance. I don't have a contract, so I'm in a bunch of different agencies. Yeah. Um, like, okay, there's a difference between, like, the 17-year-old or, like, the, even the 15-year-old Russians that are scouted for, like, the super high fashion. Like, I'm 25, so I'm older, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, that, they're different. Like, I even saw, like, a yeah. crazy documentary about that. Like, how they use, like, girls that are way too young and, like, take advantage of them. That would suck, like, to come over at that that young to Japan. Can't speak Japanese. But you hear about that. Yeah. Hmm. There's a good documentary I watched about it. It was called, like, Girl Model or something, and it's about, like, hmm. these children, and it's just awful. In and Japan. So, like, oh, my God. Well, they're not just in Japan, though. They're, and, they're girl models everywhere yeah, it's, in the world. Yeah, well, right? they're from, like, Siberia. They're from, like, mm. Siberia, and the model scout was this American former model who's a total sociopath. Like, <laughs> like she, she's really creepy. Like, in the movie, she said something like, she has these plastic baby dolls. She's like, mm. I have two. I used to have three, but I dissected one. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But yeah, like, I, if you want to be a model in Japan, you can just sign up with a foreigner agency, or like, you know, one, one of the gaijin agencies, like, mm -hmm. freelance, and it'll take you a little bit to get jobs right away, but at least it took me a little bit, because yeah. I was less experienced. I think they want you to show, like, you're really, like, you have a lot of experience, which is, how are you going to do that? <laughs> but... It's a yeah, chicken and egg situation, isn't it? You gotta have experience to get gigs, but you gotta get gigs to get experience. But uh, yeah. so that's the question: so How like, do you get started? Um, um, I recommend making like a model mayhem profile, which is connects you to other models and photographers and makeup artists, hmm. and doing TF is time for prints or time for photos or something. Hmm. So you don't get paid, but like they'll take you get paid for your time, or you get you get to keep the photo, and they get a nice photo for their portfolio as well right. as you. Yeah. That's pretty good. So, what do you, what do you think is the biggest reason um, models fail in Japan? Is there uh, have, you, have you seen any stories of people who just, you know, crashed and burned? I can tell it happens sometimes because they just lose their hair like too too young and it just becomes awkward. That's, those are tragedies. Yeah. Um I would say like I don't know, I don't think like like maybe the gaijin models get a little too frustrated with the foreign agencies because sometimes they're sc I've heard stories about them not paying. Yeah, they can be sketchy. Um, I I mean I haven't really had a problem. Sometimes like I'm not gonna say anything bad, but like I've never really had a problem. Um, so I think or like the the models will post something and they're not supposed to post it mm. or talk about oh, it, and I you're see, not supposed to talk about it until. It comes out. Right. Ah, I see. <laughs> and you don't you don't want to take pictures of the clothes and post it on Instagram before the show because <laughs> right, that ruins right. it for everybody. So hmm. I think that's why they get frustrated, like, in, or they're like you know black Higio <laughs> companies <laughs> that don't pay. Yeah, yeah. Well, the whole I mean the whole Geno Kai thing. It's kind of a you know. There's a lot of pitfalls in that, right? Is that? But do you mm -hmm. want to get into that? Would you like to be on t TV? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be soon. The, um, hmm. the show. I I don't know if I can say, it, but like Tonerizu. No, huh? I'm doing it. <laughs> well, on the actual TV show on Tonerizu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Takasan. Wow, that's that's huge. That's like yeah, one of the. Yeah. I mean, that is that is equal to downtown level. That, that, that's pretty cool. Speaking speaking of them, I saw Matsumoto in the hallway at Fuji Terabi. Whoa! Oh, yeah. That's the I picture you showed. You tweeted that, and I was like, "Yeah, I, I, first comedy I ever watched and enjoyed was Downtown, was Matsumoto and Hamada like years and years ago." Yeah, me, yeah, I have to say the first one, first Jap <laughs> Japanese show I watched, hey. kind of understood and enjoyed. Yeah, because a lot of them are pretty strange. I would love. It. I so, would love it on that. So, <laughs> so when you're on, you 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 know like you know like one of the people sitting in the background, you're actually participating in the show? Mm. Um, are you not allowed to say, oh, sorry, I, I won't put find out. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, to, when it's on, let us know when it's on and we'll watch and find out. Definitely. Yeah. I That's was cool. on, I was on another, yeah. I was on that stupid, like, you are not a Shini Poe show. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, the what show? I totally you missed that. You are Shini Poe. Why did you come to Japan? <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. Is it well, summer? I, I, 
I'm mark, the, the mark the crazy German cyclist who came to the party in the red in the pink wig. I've seen him on that show. Are yeah, you? he was on that show. Yeah. Yeah. He was actually a, uh, stopped on the street in Tokyo because they recognized him from that show. Okay. Uh, you've got some other stuff happening right now, right, with um, with Megwin? Yes. Oh yeah. Um, Tell us about that. Oh <laughs> God. Okay, so I'm gonna be in his like new like Wednesday series. It's actually oh, yeah. not, not his main. It's not his main channel. It's uh, I think Big Biggie Dragons with like Dragon, Amanda yeah. and like. Uh, this is in these videos. I'm the drunkest you've ever seen me. So anything I say, excuse me. <laughs> I say a lot of bad stuff in these videos. Yeah, I already watched. There's only one episode up, but I watched it like 20 times. Uh, <laughs> you're, just, you're just playing a character. If anyone asks you, that's a, that's what you have to say. That's right. She's very good at acting. In real life, you don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of crazy. Yeah, so. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, so, so we should mention, I mean, Beggy Dragons, I mean, I think Amanda's been helping Megwin run that channel for a while now. It's gotten really big, like, it's getting yeah. up to a, the million mark. They've been, they've been going for that for a long time, but they do heaps of really cool stuff. Yeah. So it's really yeah. cool you got onto that. Mm, yeah, it's really, it's going to be funny. <laughs> yeah. Funny if not embarrassing, but... How many episodes have you shot already? <laughs> I think two or three. I'm not, I'm not exactly you sure. You were drunk, so you don't know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It could, be four, it could be four, five, or six for all you know, right? <laughs> no, I don't know shit. <laughs> Someone says you look it's better than yeah, Lola. <gasps> Maybe you should tell everyone who your favorite uh, entertain, entertainer in Japan is. Other than us. Obviously, Lola. <laughs> She's oh. my idol. I love her fashion. I love everything about her. I want to be her. <laughs> I want to be friends with her. She has amazing yeah. legs. Yes. I love and her. I think she did a Call Me Baby um, yes. video on YouTube, right? She did. That was pretty cool. And right now she's in South Africa filming a movie with uh, Ruby Rose, like everybody's lesbian crush. Oh. Do you know who that is? <laughs> I'm going to look him up now. No. Her. Ruby Rose. She's oh, everyone's lesbian crush. Oh, right. She's from Orange is the New Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like yeah. the new... Is she really a lesbian? She's from yeah. Australia. That's why you don't know her, Hiko. I think, oh. I think she is. She's from Australia. She's I from Australia. That would explain With it. her girlfriend. Oh, really? Yeah, she's very cool. But she's like every see. girl's like, lesbian. I can she's see that. She's kind of a handsome, androgynous model yeah, type. Yeah, I can see yeah. She's gorgeous. But she's actually My lesbian, lesbian crush, right? too. Yeah. <laughs> I think all men have a lesbian crush as well, so we're not... What? <laughs> yeah. Is that, like, is that like a crush on a lesbian? Yeah, or? of course. Oh. <laughs> what did you think of a man, a gay, a gay crush? Oh. No, 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 man, no man would... Uh, would <laughs> no. <laughs> would admit to that. Hey, uh, so Wait. tell us, speaking of um, yeah. lesbians and, and improper things to talk about, how about race problems in Japan? You must have a, an anecdote or two about how... You know, some you've been disrespected, or you felt, or you felt, you know, mm, hinken, okay. some kind the, of discrimination. Okay, the stupid, like you know, when people say like those, oh, microaggressions. That doesn't bother yeah. me at all. I okay. like the attention. Yeah. Tell yeah. me, I'm great at everything, please. Like, oh, but, we agree. We agree with you on this channel. We we are generally speaking a not anti microaggression supporter. It's like it's like first world problems. Get over it. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear about like, oh, they asked me if I can use chopsticks and they gave me a fork. Boo her boo hoo, shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. You're I'm just not, not bit, sensitive. Like, oh. You don't know what um, I'm <laughs> I, I don't know. As speaking as a as a white person in Japan, I was like super excited um, when I came to Japan and they asked me if I could use chopsticks and I finally understood what yeah. it was like to be a black person. <laughs> Maybe Yes, it was oh, almost like, like my ancestors had been enslaved, yes. Hundreds of years. And been I'm being sarcastic in case any, any idiots don't get it. Because you yeah. know there's always going like, to someone who can take that out of context. Victor thinks it's the same. Okay, like, I don't think it's, like, I think, like, you know, white privilege, I, I agree. We have a lot of privilege, so I can't really complain about anything that happened or being, like, anything racist, like, racist happening against me. Like, I get hmm. Which isn't to say, which isn't... A lot. Which, which isn't to say that other people in Japan have different experiences, but yes, I'm yeah. very much in the same boat as you, that I'm very comfortable in my yeah, situation. 
I can't complain. Um, one time I got searched by the cops in Rapongi, and like I, I just kind of let them do it. But next time I'm gonna just run away. <laughs> I wouldn't run. Don't fight them. Right, they can, I think they it's the burrito. Have you seen the burrito uh, blanket? I run really fast. Have, have you seen? They're not oh, yeah, I have. The burrito is cool. It actually looks really comfortable. <laughs> do you know about the burrito? You know about that. He can please explain it. I'll, I'll, I'll let Chico explain it, because if I explain it, people will start getting on me because I'm Mexican. They'll think I took it on, on purpose. Go ahead. I'll give it to the white guy. <laughs> well, I mean, like, uh, I, I won't pretend to be the, the burrito expert of the, of the two of us, but, um, yeah, so in, apparently the latest thing for, like, um, police, there was, like, this crime in Rapongi TV show and uh, where they arrested, like, a, apparently a Turkish guy on a street corner who was, like, using, like, a kikin drug or whatever, you know, the, the mm-hmm. bohab. And um, he was kind of resisting arrest, and uh, you know he decided to bite one of the police officers. They were still like, "You bit me! How could you do that?" You know, in America, he would have been shot like fifty times by that point. <laughs> but you know, I so, can bite. Well, no, no, that's right. <laughs> but um, <laughs> that's right. You can probably bite them the multiple truth. times. America's racist. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, so yeah, so apparently what they do now is that the police kind of held him down, and they got this huge, very comfortable-looking blanket, which they wrap around the guy, and they carry the blanket away. And so it's like a human burrito that they use to kind of suppress. <laughs> it's so funny. Also, and they <laughs> switch him while he's wearing it. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, well, so, so that can be your next call. That would be a great video. That would be that would be a good social experiment video. So that could work. be your next one. So, uh, social oh. experiment. A social experiment video. So I made a video about that. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, but about her video. Oh. My theories about why Japanese are so crazy, crazily sensitive. Well, about that. I, I think a, it's a very small group of people that were leaving the negative not, comments on that. <laughs> She'll be back soon. Let me click on her. There she is. Okay. Well, she, she, you know, at least she freezes in good positions. You know, like, right winger. There she is. <laughs> yeah. She frozes. She freezes in poses like. Yeah, it's a gift that we models <laughs> have. Uh, we, we, I can't do that personally. It's just never. I'm always frozen with one eye half open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like really red. My chest is red. It's like red as fuck. Thank you Sorry. for confirming that. I keep saying fuck, and I'm not supposed to curse. No, you can say it. It's practice. It's, we encourage it. Yes, we have no problem with fuck. Though it's funny how okay. when, when people write the word fuck in the comments, they write it with F dash C K as if. I don't understand that. It Someone just wrote dick that way. D with a <laughs> another symbol for a CK. Like, I don't understand what the point it's of It's a is. star, right? F star CK. Yeah, D. well, there's no star variations CK. of it, but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so racism, so, so no, no problems. You have an, any fun little stories about a, a lot of people whiteness think I'm being half. pointed out and held against you? No? People think I'm half a lot. Really? I don't know why. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I look necessarily half, but like maybe neither does Nora. So maybe since she came out, they're like, oh, mm. I don't know. <laughs> but like, I think my Japanese level is like well enough. People don't. Jake thought I was half. Wow. Jake, what? <laughs> he thought I was half. Before oh. we met. Yeah. He's also got terrible eyesight. We have to point that out. But yeah, I, I <laughs> He's an no. investigative reporter, right? <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. He doesn't his, his eyesight's not bad, but he uh, what is it? I was gonna say oh, wh- what's bad? Uh he can't touch metal. <laughs> he can't <laughs> touch metal? Is he magnetic? Is he um, is he like a, a fairy out. from from that? Magical Disney World where um, Maleficent is from. I don't. I've never seen. That. <laughs> she can't touch metal either. Yeah. Or is, is he like Nicolas Cage who has to eat with plastic forks and knives? Um. Whenever we, whenever he goes to a restaurant, he has to like ask for like wadibashi or like wrap a napkin around his fork. Oh really? It would suck to be in Korea because they use metal chopsticks. Yeah. Yeah. They're very eco-friendly there. I hope he's not watching. We is just... that an allergy or just a phobia? Or... It's an allergy. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, he's afraid of metal. <laughs> well, I mean, it's possible. There's a lot of weird stuff. It's nice to see us with a sympathetic. 
I don't understand how Hiko is suffering right now. He's he's actually allergic to beautiful women. Well, that's true. That's true. And I'm and I have a phobia of him. He's gro he's really he's come a long way, Hiko. I just want I think everyone in the audience should just give Hiko an applause. He's doing so well tonight. He's come a long way Hiko, a, few, a few months ago. Yeah, no, months ago. I, 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 now he's almost dominating the conversation. I'm very proud of. Yeah, I'm, I'm baby steps. <laughs> baby steps. Yeah, Victor warned Victor warned me about this. Yeah, I'm, I'm very shy. <laughs> And I'm afraid of metal. I'm going to cry. So what, what other big uh, projects you have coming up? What's in the pipeline? Um, right now, um, I'm on Anup, um, the clothing brand, uh, on the website. What's the, what's the name And of right now, uh, Anup, A-N-A-P. A-N-A-P. Specifically... Oh, okay. Specifically, settimissimo. <laughs> and then Zozote. That's also you, for Anna. Are you on Girls uh, Outlet uh, Holic or what? <laughs> if you go to the site, it says Kids Girl Outlet and Holic. Oh, if you go to Anna and like type in settimissimo. <laughs> Come on, Victor, you're Italian. You can do it. I can't accept It's like, yeah, settimissimo. 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 It like I was on like the fall, I can't even so search button. Let me see. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, oh, here we go. No. You need to go. You need to go back a couple, like, cause I'm I'm not in the odd, I'm not in the winter clothes. I'm in the fall clothes. So they came out like a, a couple months ago, a month ago. Settimissimo. You can find me. Hopefully. Um, I've got some. I got a TV show coming out. It might be regular. Maybe so oh, we'll right. see. Um, no specifics on that yet. What? No specifics on that. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna be uh, okay. <laughs> deep in Japan. <laughs> um, okay. Um, well, you were at the you were at the YouTube party, right? Yeah. So who who were the big? Uh, was there anyone you were especially happy to see? Are you who you who do you usually watch? Who's... Obviously you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But but seriously. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Is there anyone you were kind of Star Trek to see a lot? I know a lot of people when they see someone for the first time. I don't get time. Star Trek. Oh good. I don't care. Yeah. I don't I care. Yeah, are. I think Star Trek is kind of silly too. But. <laughs> like if you if you're famous and you're an asshole, then bye. Like. <laughs> There was nobody really I haven't really met. I was <clears throat> I was excited to meet. Wait, Hiko Simon, have I met? I've met you before there. That right? Yeah, the Hanami. Oh, of course, we've been yeah, there. Yeah, the Hanami. Yeah. I was so drunk that day. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just excited to see my friends, and I brought my friend yeah. with me. Um, and Jake came for like a hot second, and my friend Norm came, who's like, what is what is he? Tokyo Lens, and. Yeah, I saw him. He's, uh, he's a handsome fellow. Yeah, Jake's, he looks like he's going to kill me. Say Jake signed my book. What did he say? Victor, do not try these things at home. Ah, and never cool. fashion your seatbelt. Fashion? P.S. Raina's married. Hands off. <gasps> okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. No, he said okay. best wishes. Best wishes. Did he really say that? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. He's going to die. Oh. oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> oh <I got> <laughs> um, I was also excited. Oh, Victor, Victor, Victor. Mm -hmm. Take the camera off me, please. People, okay. people are complaining again. All right, all right, go ahead. <laughs> I'm clicking on her, but it keeps clicking on someone else. I, I have to cover up my own mirrors. Please don't make everybody watch me. <laughs> so, so Rena, who do you, who are you happy to meet? I was excited to see Bayer McNeil, but it's not the first time I met him. I was just excited to see him again. Cause he's really cool. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Who else? I was really just excited to hang out with you guys, you two. <laughs> we barely hung out at all. <laughs> well, yeah, we hung out a bit. I, I, I thought it was. I know. Cool. Mm, I was also excited to see Dare Dake. I met a lot of people. I feel bad because like whenever I'm at these parties, I'm just running around, and then like I f like if I'm talking to one person, I get distracted, and I'll talk to somebody else and just ignore the other person. I feel really bad. Like I neglected my, my friends. Yeah, 
Beat and was much better this year because we got more people into the VIP <laughs> room. Last okay. year it was impossible to talk to anybody. It was just so Walking crowded. There. Yeah, what did you say to get all those people into the VIP room? I said, go into the VIP room. Oh, oh I was excited to meet Molly. I'd never met Molly before. Oh, um, yeah. But... <laughs> You insulted Molly the first day, the first time uh, on, on the internet when you were talking about the Confederate flag. I know, I said I was sorry. <laughs> and I feel, he called me out, though. I feel really bad. Like, um, <laughs> Anyone who disagrees with me is a backwater I, hick. Asshole. <laughs> I, was, I was fired up. I was fired up. Sorry. <laughs> so, so you were apologizing for the Confederate flag? No, I'm sorry for no, being the, so bitchy was, about it. She was against the computer flag and said anyone who disagreed with her is basically... I'm, not, I, I'm still against it. <laughs> I'm still against it, but I'm sorry for being a bitch about it. <laughs> but yeah, no, I met Molly and we talked for a little bit and he was like, Selena, which one of my videos is your favorite? And I was like, fuck. Because uh, <laughs> actually I've never watched this channel. I only know him from your channel, so I'm like, oh, he's like, you don't watch my videos, do you? And I was like, fuck! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll watch talking now. about War Moth Strat, by the way. Molly yeah. War Moth Strat. I mean, I meant to, but I haven't gotten around to it. I'm sure he knew that. I'm sure he was just fucking with it. I felt really bad. <laughs> no, he's a good guy. He doesn't mind. I was like, I'm such an asshole. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just got a French uh, poodle. <gasps> I saw him. Yeah. So cute. Opie, yes, Opie, so and I think it's kind of sad how he's imitating everything I do. Like I had, I had a boy baby, and he went out, went out and got a boy dog. And my my kid's name is That's Inigo, starts with a with, yeah. an, with a vowel, has four letters. Opie has starts with a vowel, four letters. I think it's yeah. pretty pathetic. I think he should just get his own. Is that really his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his real name. Um, Oh, because I was like, why are you quoting Princess Bride so much? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm impressed that you actually know that movie, because it was probably made before you were born. <laughs> yeah, I saw it when I was really young. But, like, I was like, why do you keep quoting that? Because I remember that. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> it's probably on a million t-shirts. But... I don't know. I always imagined that somehow Victor would have no, a, like... a son that would go around giving speeches like that. The only thing about that quote is that it only works if someone kills me. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Someone with six fingers kills me. That end of the but, problem like, you have to figure cool out. But, like, that's a cool name. That's a really Spani great name. Spaniards name don't like movie? it, though. Apparently, Spaniards are... Um, uh, uh, he could help me out with it. What's that little country that Spain took over and doesn't even speak Spanish? It's right next to it. It starts with a B. Mexico. <laughs> it's right next to Spain. They oh, own, the, you mean Portugal. Barcelona. Not, Bar not Barcelona. Not Portugal. Portugal. No, it's smaller than Portugal. Catalonia. Cat no, it's Which smaller than Barcelona. Barcelona. Not Barcelona. Basque. 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 Yes. Yeah. Pais Basco. So, Inigo is apparently a Basque name. And when I Basque. mentioned that on, on on YouTube, someone's like, wow, how, why the fuck would you name give your son a Basque name? That's so you weird. want him to be a good chef. Why, why not? So, Just, someone was upset really about it. What? Say again? I said, aren't you Peruvian? Who cares what people from Spain think? Well, my grandfather was actually Spanish, so he's oh, okay. he was, he was, he was Italian via Spain, so so he, he immigrated from Spain actually. So whatever, it doesn't matter. But on Nichan, I'm oh. the poor Peruvian who's uh, who has been discriminated against his whole life and called a wetback in in America, according to Nichan. I, I read that. I read that. <laughs> Really, I was. I've never okay. been called a wetback. Well, maybe once. Maybe once by a, only a by me. Is that <laughs> is that a slur? Uh, for Mexican people, yeah. For me, it's just like you made oh. a mistake. Yeah. It's okay. I've been called new half. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. What? Someone said I got to be kicked out of it because I was like, that's not an insult. For those Tra of like you new half. Yeah, new half is a man who. It's basically a man who's effeminate. No, well, actually, it's transgender. That's not an insult. Well, I That's think you have its own That's category. I don't know if they yeah. would even... It's kind of its own unique Japanese yeah. category, right? Yeah, but I was like, that's not an insult because, you know, if you want to be a woman, I, I, I'm really open. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm like, hey, this, there's a lot of pretty new half, so hey. <laughs> but I, they were like, Naga, new half chika mi Jesus. I... I Thought it was really great. But you're right. It's not really an insult. Just it's the way you take it. 
right? I know I look kind of masculine. That's but hey, high fashion. <laughs> I, I mean, that's 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 what you get. That's the model thing. That's the androgynous. You know, yeah. yeah. I don't, lots of goodness. Yeah. yeah. we've been playing it wrong this whole time, man. We should be aiming for a more androgynous look. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, I'll wear a wig if that's what I have. If that's if that's, if that's what I have to do. You know, I, let's I, make that our 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 theme for the next show. Well, actually, I, there are photoshops of me for Tokyo tonight with my head on like Princess Leia's body, which I, I, I found really, really confusing. I found disturbing too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, this this impresses me. This impresses oh my me. god! You mentioned Star Wars. <laughs> you know, Rachel in June. You know, Rachel is in love with Star Wars. Oh, Anything me too. Star Wars. Oh, really? Yeah. That's amazing. You should have talked to her about that. They're they're crazy about it. I'm a secret nerd. Don't tell anybody. Wow. Where'd you get that? That's cool. This is my husband's. It's like some 70s authentic, like, original from the 70s. He collects, like, old toys, so he's wow. got all this, like, from the lots of Star Wars stuff. What else? Cool, cool. Very cool. But uh, it's 12.30 on a, on a Wednesday, and i got to get up early, so we should start wrapping things up here. Oh, yeah. but, <laughs> I, I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> It's hard to it's hard to keep this androgynous look. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> hey, but Higo, when's our next uh, when's our next show? This Saturday I'll be probably in Kyoto. There's a slight chance I'll make it back in time, but but yeah, no. So you've got you've got family stuff. Yeah, my parents are in town for the next two weeks. So. <clears throat> Tough. So I guess we'll we'll probably be maybe week after next. And All right. We've still got to figure out a day, but uh, thank you for coming and joining us. Uh, yeah, Raina, thanks. Uh, so. We've been wanting to have you on for a while. So. Oh, can I say something? Sure. So like. I told Jake I was going to be on here, and he's like, what? What did you do to get on that show? <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. I was like, I'm sorry, not everybody can be Jake Adelstein. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he actually did try to make us sign up to a contract that we wouldn't have any more guests after him. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not um, me. <laughs> I'm sure you just said something really interesting. Yeah. We couldn't hear a thing you said. You just I know, I know. You just sound like a drum. She freezes like in poses. It's 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 awesome. I think it's time, Hiko. I think I'm it's time. Dead because I'm Lena. That's the that? the cowbell goodbye. It needs more cowbell. You. Your cowbell goodbye needs more cowbell. I think there's nothing. This show has everything now. Now we've got cowbell. Oh no. <laughs> well, Hey, Rena, thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Come back soon. Anytime. All right. Once again. <laughs> you guys keep me in touch and let me know what's happening with the next show. But, uh, yeah. everyone, good night. Oh. And peace out. Good night, guys. And hit the button.